Hello once again. Hello. <laughs> Hello once again. We have here our fabric already for pleating. On previous fa um, videos, I've shown you how to make curtains. I've got the full version of how to make curtains for $9.99. That's the full version. Other than that, I've got clips on um, how I make curtains. But here we've come to the stage where the lining is on the fabric. I've got my mitered corners done. The hem is done of the bottom of the curtain. And now we're going to turn it over to do pinch pleat curtains. Right. So our buckram, and this one is a six inch. So I'm going to cut some off. But before we put this buckram in, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this under. So we need to allow seven inch turnover from the top to the bottom. So the seven inch that means. Our curtain's going to be 11 inch tall. So we'll turn this down. And I've allowed 7 inch because 6 inch is the buckram. 6 inches is the buckram and then we just want 1 inch to clear it. So that's roughly it. So the overall curtain stroke valance is going to be 11 and a half inch. Let's do 11 and a half inch. So 11 and a half inch. So we're now going to measure, let's do it this way that you can see it, 11 and a half inch all the way along. Our iron it. up and then we put our buckram in. Now the buckram is fused both sides so when you iron it it shall stick both sides. Now at the end at the end you will see that the, the buckram goes right off and then what I do is I bring it back to make sure that that section there is nice and thick so that when I put my uh, hooks in, it grabs all of that and makes it nice and strong. And I'll do the same for the other end as well. Stroke. Goblet, stroke, pinch plate. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm fusing the two together. Find my centre. Mark my centre. Because I'm going to have my pinch pleats uh, in the centre, the first one. You can either have your pinch pleat dead on the centre, or you can have the space, but centralised, dead in the centre. But this one I'm going to have my, because I'm going to have five pleats. So now that I've found my piece, now the measurements that I'm going to use, as I said before, here is the wood that I'm going to use. And normally what it is, is the length of your fabric is, what, two and a half times the size of this wood at times. So what you have to do is you have to deduct the width of this the length of the fabric away so this is 21 inches so you have to take away 21 inches if you look at it there 21 inches and that 21 inches is what you do your working out for for your spacing so you put that aside now the leftover which is from there onwards has to go somewhere so now you have to divide that to give you your spacing. 
so this will be the hardest thing you do when it comes to making curtain and believe you me it's a headache but today I'm going to show you the quickest way that I will do it now most of the times we work by um, divide it by five so if you take the length of it and divide it by five then it will give you your spacing so what we'll do is is my five inches I'm going to start it off in the middle right so but there's my center so I'm going to have two and a half one side and two and a half the other side which will give me my plate so that's going to be my first five inches so I'm going to mark it and that is my plate now I'm going to leave this equally so it's five inch five inch five inch five inch and so on going along five inch so on now it it can varies at time but I just want to make this as simple as I can because you can have five inch for your um, pleats and you can have four inch for your spacing right you can have six inch for your pleats and you can have five inch for your spacing on and so on or four inch so it depends and it's it really does it blows your mind so we're going to stick with five 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 and make it fit and there's most what we do sometimes to cheat is you don't do your sides first if you do this or even if you do your sides first which is uh, turning the seams in at the side and you work by five then whatever left off at the end you either cut it off <laughs> it's much more easier but we're not going to do that because it's wasting fabric so we do five inches there. so that's five inch for the pleat then we're now going to do five inch for the this space and I put my pin in and just so that I can remember that it's a space I'm going to put a pin going the other way to say that is a space so we do five inch again and no pin we do five inch again And now I'm going to put a pin in it to remind me it's a space. We do another five inch again. And that's a pleat. And at the end of it, at the end of it, it's um, it works out very well to be two and a half inches. So that is two and a half at one end and two and a half at that end. So when two curtains are together, two and a half and two halves, it makes it five inch. So continuity follows on. You've got that. It just almost looks perfect. Okay. So now I've done one half and we've got pleat, pleat and so on. Pleat. So in order to get the other side now, because we did the center, we just fold the fabric now in half. And then we just use the top one as your template and put the pin in for the one underneath. And that will make it all perfect. And then once again, you'll put the pin going sideward just to remind you that that one is a pleat. Now this, this five and five inches is used quite a lot. So don't feel no way if you can't be bothered to work it out exact and just use five inches, it'd be fine. So now we have, we've got space, pleat, space, pleat, space, let's move it up, pleat, space, pleat, let's move it up, pleat, space, pleat, and space, all equal. So now I will move it to my table, what I show up my machine. So what I do at this point now, oh, another thing is you can do, you, you don't have to um, overlock the edge, you can either overlock the edge or you can do just do a stitch in like that. That one's more neater actually, I was lazy because this is a dummy. 